Where, who, or what do you go to at the end of a really long day when you're just feeling empty? We as humans constantly crave fulfillment. When we're hungry or thirsty, we crave the fulfillment of food and drink. When we're tired, we crave the fulfillment of sleep. When we're bored, we crave the fulfillment of entertainment. But then we have those deeper longings inside each one of us. The longing, for example, to feel accepted and loved. The desire to be vulnerable and yet feel safe and secure. My question is, where do you go to for those needs? In John chapter 4, we read this incredible story of Jesus meeting a woman at a well. Now this woman, much like you and me, friend, looked to certain things to bring about a sense of fulfillment. In other words, she drank from a certain well, hoping that it would satisfy her at the end of the day. The well she drank from specifically was the well of men, relationships. She was known as someone that just went from one casual relationship to the next. What are the wells that you drink from to satisfy those deeper longings for acceptance, vulnerability, safety, and security that each one of us carry? You see, in this story, Jesus in love confronts this woman so that she herself comes to the realization that the well she had been drinking from as a source of fulfillment in life never really satisfied her completely for all eternity. She needed living water water that would satisfy her eternally and to use Jesus' own words, eventually become a wellspring of life inside of her that will not only bless her, but that would bless those around her. You see, in this story, in John chapter 4, the longing to be fulfilled or satisfied relationally, that's not a bad thing. That's actually a very good thing built into each one of us. But you see, it's when good things are elevated to become God things in our lives that we're left feeling stuck or unsatisfied or unfulfilled at the end of that seeking or longing. That's what this woman in John chapter four discovered when she meets Jesus. She discovered that true fulfillment, true satisfaction, true life and eternity can only be found in Him. It's as if she had realized that she had been drinking from the wrong well all her life. It's like when you realize that you've been so thirsty, but you've been grabbing at salt water instead of fresh water. Salt water might look appealing, it might look the same, you know, it might kind of feel the same, but we all know there's a very distinct difference between salt water and fresh water. We don't want to drink salt water. Why? Because that eventually leads to death and sickness and illness at the end of that. And that's kind of the realization that she gets in John chapter four, when she realizes the things that she had been looking for to find fulfillment it's like she's been drinking salt water when fresh water has been available all this time. Maybe that's where you are today. Maybe you are stuck in that same feeling. You keep going back to the same hobbies, the same relationships, the same destructive patterns, the same secret sins that only leave you feeling empty at the end of the day. But we turn to those things, why? Again, to find a, a source of fulfillment, but we're left thirsty at the end of it. The key to true fulfillment that we discover in John chapter four, it's Jesus. But how do I then get unstuck from the things that leave me feeling empty on the other side? One key thought that I wanna share with you, and it's this. It's much more about whom you turn to 
than what you turn from. I'll say it again. It's much more about whom you turn to than what you turn from. You see, just trying to turn away from the things that leave us feeling unsatisfied at the end of the day, it's that will never be enough. Why? Because if you're starving, you'll eat anything, even if it's garbage. <laughs> but you see, we don't go about life just avoiding garbage, okay? We don't walk around saying to one another, don't eat garbage, no. <laughs> we make sure that we eat good, nutritious food. Simply turning away from things that promise fulfillment, that's not what it's about. That's one part of the story, that the really key element to true satisfaction, true fulfillment is turning away from, but then turning towards Jesus, the ultimate source of fulfillment and satisfaction. That's the invite that Jesus made and extended to this woman in John chapter four. And that's the invite extended to you and me to come and drink from the water that he has to offer. He knows we're thirsty friends. <laughs> he knows we long fulfillment and satisfaction, but he also knows that it's only in him that we get to discover those things. Turn away from the things that leave you feeling unfulfilled. That's one part of it. But make sure that you're turning towards Jesus in that same moment. So what will you do now? Is it something simple and practical, like just maybe replacing a Netflix binging time allocation to something a little bit more fulfilling at the end of the day? Or maybe you're stuck in some really destructive patterns or secret sins that keep you in bondage and slavery. And maybe you are in need of more specific tools to help you walk in freedom. Remember, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. We no longer need to submit to a yoke or a burden of slavery. So whatever it is, step one, write it down, acknowledge it, say it out loud to a trusted friend or someone that follows Jesus alongside you. Acknowledge it and then get some really practical tools or steps or action items in place that will not only help you turn from, but turn towards Jesus. Remember, He's the only source of living water that will ever truly satisfy us at the end of the day. Bless you. If you've enjoyed uh, this content, please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get your hands on more of the same. Cheers.